New data obtained by 13 Investigates shows fewer cars are being stolen across Colorado. Police in Pueblo attribute the drastic drop to new laws that make punishments for stealing cars much stricter. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live in our newsroom with these emerging trends. Sean? Yeah, Barton Heather, by now you likely know that Colorado was number one in auto theft rates last year. In response, our state's lawmakers made stealing a car of any value a felony. Now law enforcement in Pueblo are not only seeing a drop in car theft rates, it's a crime that's been virtually non-existent these past two months. It helps with uh, the consequences. In 2022, law enforcement across the state argued the fact that stealing a car was only a misdemeanor was contributing to an increase in theft. And while I'm um, uh, respectful of the view of law enforcement that somehow this has caused all of the all of the problems with vehicle theft, um, that's really not a realistic answer. Has it contributed? I suspect so. Colorado Springs Republican Senator Bob Gardner took the issue up. He helped to pass a law to make stealing a car valued at less than $2,000 a felony. Pueblo police say they would regularly see their auto theft rates near 14% annually. But since July, that number has dropped down to around 1%. They acknowledge that this is simply a snapshot, but argue the new law could be deterring prolific auto thieves targeting people of lower incomes. When you stole their car, it was a misdemeanor, but their, their stolen car was a greater impact to them because at times that was the only car that they had and that was what they used to go to work, take kids to school, other essential activities. Statewide numbers reflect this decrease as well. Numbers obtained by 13 Investigates show auto theft is down 22% in the last two months and 12% in Southern Colorado. But the question remains, do criminals really know the difference in the law? Pueblo police argue they are keenly aware of what they will now face for stealing a car. A misdemeanor, you don't go to jail. You you know, we might write you a ticket, we might, you know, have you go to court, but you don't go to jail. If you get arrested for a felony, you go to jail. In addition to those law changes, Pueblo police say their proactive operations, which target people who are known to be auto thieves, has helped them make a significant debt in our state's notorious auto theft dilemma. Reporting live in the newsroom, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. All right, Sean, thanks.